from the streets of Bushwick. Um, I am having some interesting, uh, interesting situations here because I, well, one, schedule an appointment to have a dentist exam. Two, uh, I have health insurance. Three, my, ex my, my health insurance is accepted. Uh, but when I got there, the receptionist, um, they, they basically told me that I wasn't able to be seen because I wasn't pre-approved. Some nonsense like that. I'm going live because I'm chatting. I'm just chatting about how frustrating trying to get seen. Uh, you know, I have Medicaid, right? It's health first. And, uh, you know, the policy is usually that you need to be pre-approved. But it's, it's not... <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit frazzled, as you can probably tell. I haven't gone live in a while, and I just felt like this is such a perfect opportunity to release some of this frustrating frustration. I think that's the only way to put it. Frustrating frustration at trying to get my teeth cleaned and not being able to, um, not being able to do it, you know? It's like, uh, hold on a second, my, my screen's a little fuzzy. Uh, you know, I, I went in there, had it scheduled at 10 a.m. Uh, I went in there and he says, oh, well, you're not, you know, pre-approved. I says, well, I have a reference number from the insurance company saying that I don't need to be pre-approved. If you call them, you'll find out. She's like, well, I can't do that. That's not my job. So I said, well, look, I'll call up the insurance and get them on the phone. I had them on the phone. She said, that's not true. I said, well, you know, will you let, let them talk to you? You know, and I says, well, you know, she, she refused to talk to the insurance person. And I was, I was floored because she said, you know, I'm having the insurance person in my ear and I'm talking to her. And she's basically saying, she's signing other people in, she's doing paperwork. She's like basically trying everything to do to not pay attention to me. And I said, look, you know what? Now I had her, she says, okay, well, we're not supposed to do this, but I'm just gonna do the pre-approval, put, put her in the computer, put, you know, put you at the pre-approved, because like as of COVID, you don't need to do that anymore. You know, you don't need to be pre-approved because, you know, and I made this appointment last year, well, last year. Uh, so I don't know, it, it's just, I guess what this live is about is about trying to do the right thing, trying to get my teeth clean and I had put it off for so long because nobody wants to go to the dentist. Who really wants to go to the dentist? Nobody wants to go to the doctor. I don't like going to the doctor. I like <laughs> not going to the doctor, I'm, you know what I mean? Um, especially with coronavirus things going on, you know, you don't want to be having a, I, I don't know, expose yourself, especially your mouth. So, um, so when I was talking to the insurance person, uh, they were saying, well, you need to, uh, maybe, maybe you should find another dentist to go to. <laughs> so I'm on my way back home to find another place to go. Uh, it, it's super frustrating though, you know, um, you know, not everything always works out. And I think this is the thing I want to say about like the mental chillness aspect of, of, uh, of this is that it doesn't, things don't always work out the way you want them to. Sometimes they happen the way you need them to. Uh, perhaps this just wasn't a good dentist. Maybe I wasn't going to have a good experience. And, and so now I have to, you know, recalibrate my thinking to say, Hey, you know what? This wasn't maybe the best place to go to. Maybe this wasn't the right dentist, even though, you know, I'd love nothing more to just get this out of the way because that's really all I want to do is just say, okay, done, check that off the list. Because it feels like sometimes there's a list of things to just get past so you can get to the stuff that you really want to do. Like you got to eat your vegetables so you can get to the dessert. Hey, Insurance in America sucks. Hey, NYC Punk 13. Yeah, we need universal health care like Canada. Yes. It, 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 it is frustrating. I, <laughs> it is, it is. It's super frustrating because the, the thing we, I don't know, man. I, I, I was so proud of myself 
for doing that. And, uh, you know, and, and it's the thing is, is that I, I got to feel good about the right action that I took. I got to feel that, you know, this person may be overworked or maybe underpaid or there might be some other underlying reason. But it's like, you know, I, I, I think um, the rep was very apologetic to me and she didn't need to be. The, the insurance rep was actually really, really cool. It was the doctor's office that was being difficult because they were saying, listen, you can go there, you, you know, take our money, <laughs> take the money that the insurance is providing, you know? And um, so, I don't know, I guess, I guess I'm just sort of in a, in a post trying to calm myself down. So it's helping to talk a little bit. It's helping to get these things out, these thoughts and ideas. Um, I am gonna go home and work on some creative projects. And you know, when I got to do a walk, I'm getting some fresh air and sunlight. And I was up at a reasonable hour, you know, heard the Trump conversation, which was <laughs> interesting too. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, is it ever going to end? Um, but, it, you know, that, that's also, it, I think things are, things are coming full circle. I'll, I'll get the cleaning done. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm resolved to do it. I made the effort. Maybe it was just the first step. Making that appointment to this place was just the first step in getting some of these other things done. Um, I can't be upset about what didn't happen. I got to be proud of what did and happy with what did happen. And... Um, you know, I got my eye exam the other day. That was cool. I'm going to have a physical done. Um, so I was trying to just like first, the, you know, this year, just get all those things out of the way or taken care of. And, um, you know, but health, health, you're right. Health in this country, uh, health in general, uh, health care is, um, it's, I, I don't want to say it's lacking because it's unfair to the people who do do a, a, a good job because there's certainly a lot of people that, that are, that are good. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is unfair. <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe when the, the chump <laughs> is gone, <laughs> we'll have a, we'll have a better situation. Uh, I, I mean, personally, I, I, I have my doubts with Joe Biden, too, because Joe is not uh, exactly, um, you know, <laughs> he's, he's, I mean, I, I have to say, like, it does, you know, the bar is set pretty low with Trump. He, he really made everybody look pretty bad. <laughs> so, I mean... I, I'm not, not, you know, I mean, I'm not saying Joe is a horrible guy, but, you know, or, or Kamala or whoever, I think, you know, anybody is fine, you know, that, you know, we're thinking not to get into the politics thing, but I think, you know, some, some real reform in terms of like, you want to call it socialism, call it socialism, call it socialized medicine, whatever. I, I, I just think, you know, like you're saying, universal health care is right, you know, um, you know, the thing is, is with Medicaid, which I have, it's supposed to be taken. There shouldn't be a big deal, but people turn their nose up at it because it's, me oh, it's Medicaid, you know, it's a pain. Like I had the same issue at the eye doctor when I was trying to get a pair of glasses frame. I had to pay a premium for the, for the glasses that I wanted. And, you know, and they acted like I was, again, <laughs> they were doing me some sort of a favor when I'm, <laughs> you know, the one in there with the insurance. Um, you know, and these things are provided and they accept the insurance. So I don't understand what the big deal is. They have a gripe with the insurance or how the medical field is. I don't, um, <laughs> yeah, the orange blob. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You can't, you can't. <laughs> yeah, the Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> the magical Cheeto is uh, is on his way out. I'm just waiting to, to see, like once he's out, like I'm I'm not counting any chickens until till he's out of the coop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's a he's something else, man. I I, I mean, <laughs> the only thing is is like it's 
It's a train wreck. It's a super big train wreck. And I, I don't know if you end up seeing the, um, the Netflix thing about, you know, the year of 2020 with uh, David Spade and um, I can't remember the other comedians, uh, female comedians, but they, they did this thing on like some of the things that happened this year. And it was just a, a list of, you know, what, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, this, this year has been so crazy. Um, but, you know, we're, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm walking around, I'm calming down, I'm cooling down things. <laughs> He's Satan. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. Oh my God, I've never seen such a textbook example of a narcissist in my life. I have never seen that. It's like he, um, you know, like the whole, man, this guy's, I don't know, like I'm walking around, so I don't want to like cross the street when this guy's making a decision of where to turn or not. He's <laughs> maybe decide to hit me. I don't know. Um, you, you know, <laughs> the golden egg. It's funny. <laughs> yeah.